Raquel Berman here and today I am super super excited to share with you the brand new Coco Vanilla Studio collection called Love Always. It is oh my gosh like a match made in heaven for my style. I am loving everything I am seeing. There is sort of black and white tones with some pastels and gorgeous florals. Um, heaps of embellishments as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share everything with you and let you have a look at this gorgeous collection up close and personal so firstly I thought I'd share the papers with you there are six double-sided 12 by 12 papers in this collection and they're a as you can see here I'll just sort of show you an overview of the six pieces at a glance one side and then the other side oh my gosh they're so pretty so I'll go through each one individually and talk to you a little bit about what is on the paper and then we will go through the embellishments so this first one here is one of the cut apart sheets and what I love about these sheets is that you get a combination of your 3x4 card size but you also get some cut apart smaller bits and pieces. So if I zoom in here you can see that there's some tabs here, some sort of strips that are 6, in, uh, six inches wide um, you get some labels and things so what I'll normally do with pieces like this or even pieces like these here is I'll cut them up and I'll add them with my ephemera so if I zoom you back out we can see that this is the logo for the collection but it's included on our paper as well so it's just love always this is just one of those geometric hearts, you stole my heart, you make me smile. So these are sort of a smaller, these aren't 3 by 4 in size, well they, this whole thing is 3 by 4 but then you've got the two smaller pieces within it that you can cut up. This is always and forever and I love this, this is what I'll say to my kitties, I'll say I love you always and forever. So I'm like, as soon as I saw that I was a bit excited. Um, you have me at hello, this is just a plain one, you've got some journaling space as well. So I really love the versatility of these cut aparts and of course if you do Project Life or you create mini albums this would be perfect as well. And then on the back is such a super cute, now this print on here is actually heart so it's a really beautiful grey and then a white heart as you can see there so that's the first paper the next paper is called class act and it's got a beautiful pink pastel sort of pale pink on this side and then on this side is just a black and sort of like a it's not white white because obviously you can see the difference between it and my background it's sort of a cream but there are touches of white in the collection as well but I love a good spot so that's a really nice paper to add some of that contrast of black and really make your layouts pop so that's the second piece the next piece is called twin set and it's just a beautiful painted look stripe so if I show you you can see that the lines aren't perfect they look like they've been painted on and then this is very similar to one of my favorite papers in another collection that had a pale blue stripe so this is a chunky horizontal pink stripe and I know that this will be one of my favorites I know it already so that is the third paper the next paper is note to self and it's sort of got a blue print on there I don't know what you call this sort of circular print and then on the other side is a gorgeous cursive text print that just says uh, love always and love always and ever forever oh that's cute and ever <laughs> forever and ever 
gorgeous. So there'll be a nice one to add, I think, in layers and you could make a feature of that on a page. So that's the fourth one. The next paper is called Bouquet and on the B side is sort of just a zigzag print. It's sort of got a mixture of dot, all little dots it's made up of. And then on this side is a floral. So you could get um, Cutty and Fussy cut out the florals and make a feature of them on a page or you could just use the paper as is but it's just a really nice floral design and I like that it's got some bolder colours in it as well like that darker green and red it's really nice and then this last one is a frolic so on the B side is this pink sort of paint dashed look paper and then on this side it's very similar to the floral on this one except it looks sketched so if I show you that nice and close so you could watercolor this in or make a feature of it that way you could color it in with the color pencils or you could leave it as is and I do like a nice black and white print when I create so they are the papers so I'll just bring them back out so you can see so this is apart from this one these are the B sides so the opposite sides you can see that are really nice oh this one isn't with a really nice color palette nice pastels with pops of black and white and then you've got your more printed ones on this side so that's the papers within the love always collection we have two sticker sheets so the first one is an alphabet sheet and it is 12 inches in size and these are just alphabet stickers they're all capitals they have sort of an ombre pink look to them and they're just a really gorgeous easy to use font so they're the font that um, has been featured in lots of the other collections there and I like that these ones have that different um, gradient for the leathers as well so it gives you a look at the shape of them so they're really nice and then we have the sticker sheet and this sticker sheet's been modified a little bit because now we have some tiny word stickers at the bottom which I think is awesome because they're really hard to come across really now with um, some collections so and they're so versatile and easy to use and everyone seems to love them so we've got those down the bottom which are just some really nice sentiments now this collection is geared towards that it could be a wedding or a love collection but obviously the words that are used are pretty easy to use on everyday pages as well and that's what I was planning on doing is just using them for everyday scrapbooking I wasn't planning on creating a wedding album or anything like that so I really want to stress how this doesn't necessarily need to be used for just that purpose you can use this in any way that you would like so there's some gorgeous uh, tabs uh, some circular some square icons I like this shape here. I've used this similar shape in some of the other collections with the scallop sort of edge and then some labels. So that's a really nice, I think, easy to use sheet. The next thing that we have, which is new to Coco Vanilla Studio, is chipboard stickers. So this is really exciting for us. So there is a combination of frames, and I love with the frames that. This so it isn't anything wasted so you can use you know you've got this frame and then you've got a frame within the frame and then embellishments within the frame that you can pop out and use so it's a nice thickness chipboard you've got some arrows some stars some circular shapes as well but like that film strip look up here some tickets it's just a really nice chipboard sheet 
and they just like any other chipboard sheet as you can see they just pop out and then you can use them on your pages the next thing, thing we have and the last few collections have had floral elements or embellishments to them so these are Billy Blooms for the Love Always collection and it's just groupings of 10 flowers and the flowers are in the white, the pale pink and the deeper pink and all you simply do with these is you just, they've got sort of a wire trim so you just pull them off and un unweave them. Now there's a few tips and tricks for these little babies here. You can either use a pair of scissors that you're happy to cut because these are a wire stem with to cut off the stem and just adhere them on with a liquid adhesive or you can get something that has a little bit of a point like a pencil and you can wrap it around and make a bit of a feature of the stem. So I've done that before with blooms like this where I've sort of just adhered them to the page with the stem being a bit curled. So that's another idea. But they're a nice versatile small embellishment so they're only about a centimetre in size so not too big nice perfect little small embellishment to go in your cluster groupings when you create so that is the blooms I'm just going to push them to the back rather than try and fight my packaging then we have the flare buttons in the collection so as always there's six flare and they have a foam back on them and these are the designs sweet are they and they're just that nice perfect little addition to a page so that's the flare in the collection the next thing we have are the enamel dots but this time they're called sparkles because as you can see they have a bit of a glitter to them so there's a silver a pink a white and a black so they'll work beautifully with that collection and I just love I can't get enough of <laughs> enamel dots when I'm creating it just a couple of these scattered around my clusters just makes a nice little finishing touch to a page so that's those then we have in this collection some puffy stickers so these are about three and a quarter just the actual sheet not the packaging by six inches in size and we have some rectangular word, words there we have some sort of banners some little flags and things arrows oh I like these little triangle pieces using up some of that space they're cool some tabs they're really cool so moments special sweet love really easy to use phrase it, phrases or words love this good times wonderful memories so that's those then we have let's do the veneer so there's 20 pieces in this pack and on the back there's always the designs that are included but I do like to be able to show you them and pop them out of the packaging so let's go through them so there is an EXO this absolutely beautiful beautiful floral how gorgeous is that I want a gazillion of those the heart which is like that geometric hearts that you're seeing around I like this love you it's another floral happy quite fine sweet little heart with an XO looks like that candy heart sort of just a plain heart this heart has that print 
engraved onto it. Always another one with that heart. Oh, I like this one. Love is all you need. So just to give you an idea of sizing, it's one and three quarter inches wide. And then if I take, say, this heart here, it's about two and a half inches wide. Just to give you an idea of how big some of these are. Lovely. An ampersand. Another leaf. Together arrow, high, and another arrow. So they're the veneer, heaps in the packet that you'll be able to play with with this collection. So that's those. And I'm just going to push and hope that I don't lose any bits and pieces in the process because there's more to share. I've got three more things. Can you believe how many embellishments you get? So these are, I think, one of my favourite additions. These are a new addition as well, and they're vellum shapes. So we've had some vellum hearts in a smaller pack in a previous collection, but these are like an ephemera, but they're just, they're all vellum. So there's 26 pieces, and they are just pretty. So that's a doily. And then I like this one has a few floral elements, so just pull out some of those to show you. So they've got some of the pinks, that's a butterfly, another floral leaf. Let's see if there's a little one. A couple more little hearts, and they're like an ombre toned heart. So there's some of the floral pieces in there. Then we have an ampersand, and we have a cute little bow, and some butterflies. Now, the, the butterflies are these are really pretty in design. I really like those. So there's three, so they're okay, the same size. Yep, two the same size and one a little bit bigger. Another heart. That's black. You can see it a bit better if I pop it against there. And then we have two tags and just sort of a card size piece as well. So that is the vellum ephemera, or the vellum shapes, focus, there we go, you can see them all on the back of the packaging anyway. Then we have the bits and pieces, now these were really, really, really popular in the Totally Rad collection, there was a bits and pieces pack, and I'm a bit hesitant to pull everything out, <laughs> because I'm going to make a right mess. I'm just going to have to though, aren't I? Just do it, Raquel. Just do it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, we have a joy lead. We have these cute little whoop, sparkly a sparkly heart and some silver gems. We have some resin flowers. It sort of has, I love this pack because it has a bit of all of those, as it's called, bits and pieces that you want to add to your pages. So rather than buying a gazillion resin hearts, which you're probably not going to ever be able to use, you can buy one of these packs and get a bit of everything. So there's cute little fabric flowers, or his sweet little resin bow. There is sort of a puffy pillow heart with sequins cute little bow there are oh my gosh look at him I don't know why I'm calling him a he but he is about one and a half inches this little one here a little tassel so sort of leather feel white and then a pink one which is a bit bigger as you can see 
So it's just got a bit of everything. I just love it. Grey flower. It's got two tags. So one has a bit of a silver look to the outside and this one is just plain white. A couple of pegs. I love adding pegs to pages and clusters. Then we have some buttony type embellishments. So pink spotty heart and a white floral design and then a black and white stripe. Got more of those little resiny pieces as you can see and a metal silver butterfly and just adhering some of these things especially like your um, flat backed jewels just use any kind of liquid adhesive so whether you've got one of the Tombow adhesives I know the white one is really uh, the green bottle the white liquid is really popular in the Tombow and then I've just got the quick dry in here or if you have something like your glossy accents you could use that as well so all of those sorts of liquid adhesives work really well hot glue gum would obviously work but you probably would make a right mess because these are quite small so you might put more glue around the outside of the embellishment than on the actual embellishment because the glue gun always spurts out a lot more glue than what you need. So that is the bits and pieces and then obviously there's some coral and some iridescent sequins in there as well which are just a, an assortment. So I'm going to push those to the side. And I've left, can you tell I've left my favourite till the end? Ephemera. So there are 66 pieces in here. And this is the part that always I get, I have not even opened these. So I'm looking at this collection pretty much for the first time as I'm sharing it with you. So let's zoom in a little bit more. And let's do everything piece by piece. But I'll try and be a bit quick so not too slow for you. So we've got some leaves, lots of little hearts in here, so different colours. There is a heap in here, like 66 pieces you can imagine there is a heap. A flower, I might just grab a little bundle and then so show you them piece by piece. Another flower, captured, leaf, Hearts. Oh boy, so much fun. All mine. Whoops, can you see that? <laughs> Sorry. Butterfly. You stole my heart, but I'll let you keep it. Oh, that's a bit cute. Some florals, and all you do with these is a lot of the time they, all of the insert sort of pieces that need to come out might not have come out through their cutting process when they're getting made so you just have to as you can see just sort of push or poke those bits through and they pop out really easily so not tricky at all they make a bit of a mess but they are easy to pull out so that's those a few more florals come on camera be kind to everyone let them see Okay, so more butterflies. This little bitty one. He's tiny. He's like a centimetre in size. I just checked against the ruler. A heart. It's got sort of two tone to it, if you can see, because of my big finger there. You have my whole heart for my whole life. Another floral. These are really great because they're sort of on that corner edge, so you can tuck them under the photos or corners just to add that little something label another butterfly I really like the butterflies in this one arrow and another little heart so heaps of hearts this is V and I think that will spell out love more florals a tag and again the tag just has a little bit that needs to pop out of the top the heart, more florals, happy day, 
gorgeous journaling spot. Little XOXO. Looks a bit like a um, lots and crosses. Here's an L for the love. So they're the same font as the sticker sheet. Oh, be still my heart. I love these bits. So these are like your, um, they can go under your photo, just a nice edge or border to things. Tab. Another one here with hearts. Oh, this is nice. I've been to the little bit as I was pulling it out, but it's just a measuring tape look. My heart is full. Another little tab. It's hard to pick them up. I need my nails back, I think. So I have none. Uh, it's just a love heart. XO. There's the E. So that's the word in the pack. You are so loved. Arrow. Another butterfly. Tab. An envelope. Love this. And I think my two favourite little bits from here, there's another heart, are these. I really like the how these look. So picture perfect and forever and ever. Just gorgeous little banners. And that is the collection. So um, in terms of availability, it has it was up for pre-order from retailers, so I know that it's all on its way to retailers now. So it's available for order for retailers. So if you want to approach your local store, if they get Cocoa Vanilla already, or if they don't yet, make sure you let them know. So it's cocovanilla.com.au. So I'll show you that here. cocovanilla.com.au and you can let them know about this collection if you want to be able to get your hands on it. We're on the website, Coco Vanilla, there is a stockist page. So what you can do is check for your closest stockist, whether it be an online store or a local store. And check out whether or not they are getting it in. And I can't wait to see what everyone does with this. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks about this collection. I know that I adore it. And I think that in terms of colours and variety in embellishments and things to play with, I just I cannot wait to get started. And I will be back soon with Creations using it. And I hope that if you have any questions, please leave comments below and... I will link up the stockers page. I'll link up Coco Vanilla's page in the area below. Um, but if you do have questions about the collection or you have any questions about sizes of things or um, anything like that, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer or I'll find out the answer for you if I don't know it. And I'll be back soon. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it, everyone. Bye.